Bale looking to use his Whoa. pace. Well, he was taken out of it by Bartra. He's or tried to, anyway, but yeah. the referee's played a good advantage. Bale using that pace. Can he finish it? Oh, what a goal! Solo spectacular from Gareth Bale to probably win the Copa del Rey for Real Madrid. I think you still have to keep your basic shape, right? Milan and Ronaldo. Carver Hall has freed himself from his defensive shackles. Gareth Bale is having an impact on the game. Ronaldo is patient. Brilliant from Cristiano Ronaldo! Ten-man Real Madrid against the odds. Take the lead. Welcome back, everyone, to my Real Madrid Galacticos rebuild. Today is... A big day as we are going to be playing Barcelona at home in La Liga and we also play Bayern Munich in the Champions League for our group so this is where we left on the last video we finished with the 4-4 draw away at Bayern and it had like I thought with the 6-0 win here at Alaves Benzema getting a hat-trick Jovic getting two We'd finally turn a corner and then we went and lost 4 1 away at Robertis. Wasn't helped by the fact that Valverde got sent off after 13 minutes. But to lose 4 1 is still not good. And it leaves us here. So we're 7th. 6 points off top. 5 points behind Barca, who were, were on the same game as us. So this has now become a sort of must-win game, really. Because I think if we lose, we go eight points behind Barca. Which is quite a lot to catch up on. And even a draw, like Atletico and Valencia could pull away and go six or seven points ahead. And due to injuries and fitness issues, this is the squad we're going to have to settle with. So I'm hoping that Bale can do some magic like when he first came to Real Madrid as he's going to be playing up top as the poacher with Vinicius Jr as the false nine. Sentio comes in on the right. Hazard, who's been rested for a week on the left. Alibra at left back, also been rested. Modric in midfield. Camavinga as the anchor because Casemiro's got a bit of fitness issues. And then the defence is pretty much the same with Courtois and Gore. Right, and this is the Barca side. They're going 4 4 2. Coutinho starting on the left. That's interesting. And we're off. So we need to start well here. If we go a goal behind, we're in trouble. First 10 minutes, no highlights. Here we go, Carvajal, Sensio. Plays Sensio. Vinicius Jr. Go on, run. Oh, he's put it over. That was a good chance. It's another throw into Carvajal deep. No one wants to close him. And he does exactly the same thing again. Puts it straight over. I mean, it's encouraging signs that he's getting space to run at the defence. But they must obviously not be worried about him. Which is why they're not closing him down. But this could be Barca's first highlight. Mingueza. Nobody pressing him. De Jong. Pedri. Depay. He's away from his man. It's a good save from Courtois. Ronald Arroyo puts it over. Not the best of first halves from both teams, really. A bit cautious. We got a corner in Modric. Hazard. Back to Asensio. Modric. Needs to go in the box.
Vinicius Jr. Another chance. Oh, he's put it straight at Ter Stegen. He's had three decent chances now. We haven't seen much from Gareth Bale. He's having a shocker. We are playing the better team, though. We are playing better. They're winning a little bit on possession, but XG-wise, we're doing better. And uh, to be honest, I think Barcelona will take a draw away. Right, I'm going to tell them that I'm not happy with the performance. We need more. Alaba's not having a great game. Nor's Hazard. Bale. Right, Alaba delivers. Jordi Alba heads clear. That's a great switch. Hazard delivers. Asensio puts it back in and it's blocked. to take Bale off and I think we're going to have to bring on Benzema right there we go that, that'll do for now Still need not really creating a lot. Right, Carbaha, you're going to go on to attack. Hazard, you're going to go on to attack. Sensio's not having a good game. Can we go with Lucas Vasquez? Is there anyone that can play over there? Isco. Let's demand more because we really need a goal here. We're absolutely dominating them chance wise. Haven't really created anything, although I've just jinxed that. Oh no, we could break here. Benzema, Vinicius Junior, you're away. Come on, finish. Oh my god, he's put it wide. That was the chance. That was the chance to win the game. Right, Alaba. Deliver. Oh, great save from Testagen. What? Right, last chance saloon, Modric. Oh, what's gone on there? I think Gabby's got a block in at the back post. Final whistle goes, and it's a nil-nil draw. But look at that XG, 2.19. We should have won that match based on chances created. So that now leaves us... 6 points off. If I let it go win. 100% Barcelona would have took that. <sighs> I 
need to start picking up results. Gareth Bale, you're shocking. How is Alaba in need of rest? He's played, what, one game in a week? Uh, tell a lie, you come on on last game. Right, so here's the next big game we've got. We do kind of need a result here because if we look at the Champions League groups, we are currently third, having drew all three of our games so far. We have got to go away to Club Bruges and home to Porto. If Porto beat Bruges, puts them on seven. If we lose here, we're on three. So we would need to beat Porto, beat Bruges, and hope that Porto get absolutely nothing at Bayern. So if we can win here, we pretty much, unless we have a disaster against Bruges and Porto, should qualify. This is the team we're going with today. So Benzema and Jovic come back in up top. Hazard and Asensio keep their positions. Valverde comes into the middle of the park. Casemiro in behind. Mendy goes out to the left, left back. Alaba drops into centre defence. I have a little issue here because Courtois pulled his groin. But it's saying that he can play with no issues. But do I want to take the risk or do I just play Andrew Lunin? Who is considerably worse. We will leave Courtois for now and just hope that he doesn't backfire on us. Right, so we're going to have to tell him what we expect. We should be winning it, make sure we do. And i got no response. I need a strong defence. We need to dominate the midfield. And then I've gone a little bit different with the strikers. We need to get on our front foot. Melito is obviously suspended. Musiala, I guess we're about to find out. This is by inside Musiala in centre midfield, which is a bit strange. I was expecting to be playing further up front. And we're off. Let's see if we can start on the front foot. Right, highlight three minutes in. Alaba, Casemiro, Mendy. Keeping the ball well at the moment. Quite a high press from Bayern. And they win the ball back. If we could have broke that press, we'd got like a three on two. Kimmich is going to whip this. Oh, Hazard does well to get back. Mendy goes long, but Nianzu comes away with it. And Bayern come forward again. That's a great ball from Goretzka. And what is Nabry doing? Right, another highlight. Benzema's brought down by Nianzu. Free kick Asensio. And he finds the far side. Gets it over the wall. And that's a great free kick from Asensio. The wall doesn't even move. Shocking that is. Doesn't even jump. No wonder he found the back of the net so easy. Right, Nacho. Out wide to Carbajal. Valverde. He goes long. Benzema. Jovic. Hazard. Great football this. And Benzema's brought down by Nianzu. That was absolutely fantastic football there. Moving the ball so well. 
And the penalty is given. Hazard will take it. And he slots it home. 2-0. 15 minutes in. And it's safe to say that we've started well. It's a good penalty. Two shots, two goals. I'll take that. To be fair, free kick in the penalty. We haven't actually created anything from open play yet. But can we make it three in under half hour? Uh, not good enough there, giving the ball away. Sane. Can he pick someone up? Goretzka's in acres of space, and that's a great save from Courtois. So far, Courtois starting has been a big decision. What's Asensio doing there? Nacho. Carbajal. Give it inside. Nacho. Courtois. Alaba, Mendy, we've worked it well, but we still haven't gone anywhere. Ooh, that's a great change from the Anzu, but if he mistimes that, he's off. Just like that. Bayern counter, Muller, Musiala, Goretzka, and he hits the bar. It's all Bayern. Like, we just can't get the ball forward. Right, Jovic. Asensio. Oh, I should have given that back to Jovic. And away, oh no, Casemiro wins it. Benzema, what a block. Jovic, and it's three. We get the third goal. And now we just need to manage the game. This is a great win back from Casemiro. Benzema here, great block. Sensio, and he pulls it back. Jovic can't miss from two yards, really. 3-0. This is a big statement. Three shots on target, three goals. XG of 2.29. And Bayern... And not going to know what's hit them. Lewandowski can bring that down. Muller. Casemiro wins that great. Benzema, you're in. Oh, and you've put it wide. The standard Benzema miss. And we could have been 4 0 up going in at half time. Sane's got a free kick. Good save from Courtois. Oof, just too far. It's a good flick on at the near post. I'm happy with our passing so far. It's been good. Let's have more of the same in the second half. I always hate going in like 2 or 3 nil up at half time because you tend to come out complacent in the second half and buy an arrest a side you can't really be complacent against because they could easily score 4 this half. Although I'm noticing we haven't picked up a single yellow card yet. Right, we're into 60 minutes. Asensio's looking a little tired. It's 
so we're going to bring on Vinicius Junior. Um, I might, should I take off Benzo? Have we got anyone to bring on for him? Could bring on Van Dijven, who's actually been having like a fantastic um, group of games for the uh, under 19s. I think he scores pretty much every game. So next season he might potentially be playing a couple games for the first team. Right, that's a shocking corner. Nabri. Muller. Lewandowski. Need to get out to him. Pulls it all the way back to Kimmich. Who pings it back. Sabitzer. What a goal, but what a strange piece of play that is. Look at this. Brings it all the way back to Kimmich. He first time hits it all the way back. Back to Sabitzer on the edge of the box. And it's a great finish, but I don't know what the hell was going on there. Hazard needs to come off as well because he's looking a little bit tired. Isco is going to have to go out there. We've got 20 minutes to hold out. What's Jovic doing there? Why is he not gone for the ball? Right, Bale. Look how open they are. Vinicius Junior, you got pace, you got pace. Oh, and you put it wide as well. Vinicius Junior must have been having finishing practice with Benzema. Because they both can't hit the target. Why are really going for this? Goretzka. Muller. Oh, great piece of goalkeeping from Courtois. Oh, what are you doing? What are they doing? I just don't understand. Courtois, Alaba, like, you're just asking for trouble. And now we've got 15 minutes to hold out. Mindy's not exactly having the best of games. So we're going to go Vallejo. For Mindy. Oh, another highlight. I'm getting nervous now. Oh, Vinicius Junior, come on, finish it, and you hit the post. Seriously. We're going to look back at these misses if they equalise. See if we can do some time wasting. Three minutes left. Plus extra time. Oh, don't mess around, Casemiro. What are you doing? They're going to score here. I can just see it. Oh, my God. What a save. Four minutes. The amount of times that Casemiro has given the ball away this half. And I think we, yeah, we've got away with it. 
that second half performance was absolutely shocking. Well done on winning, but we're going to have to talk about that second half. It wasn't good enough. Right, so that result puts us up to second, a point behind Bayern. So as long as we beat Porto, we should qualify. And I think we play Porto at home as well. Just have a quick look. See yeah, Porto at home in a couple of days. Well, three weeks. So that I think that's where we're going to come back. We'll come back. We'll play that game because that could potentially be us sealing Europe. Well, the next into the knockout round. We'll do FC Porto and Bilbao. But before we go, a couple of things that I'm looking to do for the January transfer window will be getting Kylian Mbappe in on a free because we've got 600k a week wide budget spare. And I also want to try and get this Bubakar Kamara because he does develop to be a really good player. Obviously he's valued at 55 to 80 million. Or he can play centre half or he can play that defensive mid role. So I can rotate him and Casemiro. But yeah, will, will we qualify for uh, the next round of Europe by beating Porto? I suppose you'll all find out tomorrow when we come back and play FC Porto. But thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all soon.